I love uh, how everything's going so smoothly, and I just love being a Cardinal. Mm -hmm. What, how do you approach spring? Obviously, a new team, but how, what, what are some things that you like to do in the spring? Do you like to catch a lot? Do you like to well, play a um, lot? Just, just depending. I've been coming. I mean, I've come in the past in the past few weeks since uh, the new year, and I caught a few guys before. So now I'm just focused on what things can make them better, and when they get lost, what do I need to do to make them get back on track? And that's that's one thing that we fucking that we focus on. But yes, I mean, pretty much I catch twice a day, and then I take my after I catch I do uh, the rest. But uh, catching is priority. Would you like to catch a lot of games, or would you like to kind of mix in some DH to get the to get the swing going I in do, the spring? Yeah, I do. I do whatever the manager asks me to do. Okay. Uh, if he asks me to just play catcher, I'll be catching. If he asks me to do some DH, I'll do it. Um, but it's, I go with the flow. I go with, with their plan, whatever they think is best for me. I do it. Well, so when you're looking at a new pitching staff, what do you think is the most important thing to establish with your pitchers? I think it's uh, the building the relationship, get to know each other a little bit, and uh, and, and and just ask questions. Uh, even before the, the bullpen start, I always ask what they're trying to do. What, they, what are they? Uh, working on, and that's something that I uh, I can have a better idea of what they or what they, what they're trying to do mm -hmm. in coming to into the new season. How beneficial do you think not playing in the World Baseball Classic will be to trying to get to know everybody here? I mean, uh, um, I mean, it's, it's gonna help. It's gonna help because if I go if I go to the World, World Baseball Classic and we go to the final, it would be like March 23rd. I think it's the last game. Mm -hmm. That's they're gonna take a lot of time away from me, but. Uh, we, in combined with the team, we made the decision just to stay here to get to know the pitchers that's going to stay and then work, to, and work together. I mean, I know that uh, I just got here and I got to know a lot of pitching staff, and which they're being nice to me. I always, uh, I always said that. Um, they're really open to, to listen. Uh, they're asking questions. They already asked, so that, that's a good sign. How important was that for you to not only get down here early but basically stay for as long as you can? Uh, I mean, it's really important, to be honest. Um, I know that the the WBC is really important for me to represent my country, but I had, I had some issue in the past with my, my with my ankle, which I talked to to the president about, it, and we we just made a decision to uh, just take it easy, um, not do too much because it's a long season, and most important than that, just to get to know my pitching staff really well. You talked about envisioning being a Cardinal sitting in the other dugout. Just what has it been like to? You haven't worn the full white birds on the bat yet, but you've no, been yeah. in Cardinals camp. Just what's it like? But I put the jersey on. Yeah. I, put, I, I had a white, white jersey at home oh. that Jerry gave me. I put it on, and you look, you look so different, but I love it. Um, <laughs> and I love being a Cardinals. Um, I mean, it's, it, everything is different. Uh, I, I, I used to a couple of things, but. Um, I like the, the way everything's going. Uh, everything's kind of like an like old school way in, in, in one way. Everybody looking one way. So I love it. I just love it. Have you thought about what that first trip to Wrigley might be like? No, I haven't thought about that. But uh, when it comes, I probably have time to, to think about it. I'm just Right now, I'm just focused on get to, get to know everybody and, and, and have a good spring with them. Wayne you, uh, said you yesterday put, that he didn't realize how big you were, how thick you were through the chest. <laughs> and he said you you give a, a big target, and that's something that Yachty always did. How much pride do you t sorry? How much pride do you take in your defense? And you know you're known as a, a hitting catcher, but how yeah. much pride do you take in that defense? I mean, I, I take a lot of pride on that because I know that I put the right work to get better behind the plate, mm -hmm. and I do always do whatever to make the pitcher uh, the pitchers get better and be better, and that's something that I take a lot of pride of. So. Um, like I said, I always play 100%. I always, I always have, but um, I always take pride of what I do on the field. Did you reach out to Yachty for maybe advice on guys or, or the scouting report? I just, uh, we, we've talked about the team. We talked about a few teams. I haven't reached about uh, any of the of the pitcher because I know that he's probably busy with his family. Yeah. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't want to get in, in his way, but probably. Uh, and he's managing the WBC, so mm -hmm. probably at some point I'm going to make a call for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's always going to be there for me. Yeah. 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 What, when you said you tried on a Cardinal jersey, it was one Molina gave you? Yes, I asked Molina because, I mean, he's my idol. Yeah. I mean, when I got converted to a catcher, I always watch his videos and how great 
his defense was year after year after year. That never changed. I never got away from him. And uh, when I got the jersey, I just I just got home and just tried it on. I was just put it on. When he gave you one, when like he gave one me, of the gift yeah, ones? the one he gave me. So and this was during the season then. That was or after. Season, that, yeah. No, that was the, the last series okay. of the yeah. When I got home, that was the half season. Okay. I was basically entering free agency. Oh, yeah. That was the same, yeah. The same series when you had that experience watching Alvin with Pujols, Albert Pujols. Right. Yes, that okay. was the same. Uh, and yeah. um, no, actually, I was before. Okay. Because that was the, his 695. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And then I put it on. I asked my wife if he liked it. I was like, Yeah, I do. I look good. I look big. <laughs> and, and, uh, but yeah, it was something that I'm really, I'm really, uh, I'm really happy with the decision I made. Yeah. I think it was the right move for me. Um, and in being here, uh, it feels like home. Even though that I've been here two months, three months, but yeah. I mean, the respect that the, the team I had, the, everybody has showed me, and, and, and the love that they wanted me to be here, I wanted to be here, and then, and then I think that's I, I made a, a great decision. Here. So, so it had four on the back, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. That was his own, his, yeah. his, his and personal his size jersey. And it fit? You yeah, it fit. I mean, it fit really good. Bigger here too. Oh, sorry. No, it felt really good. Okay. It felt really good. Yeah, yeah. You didn't give him a hard time. It was tight on you. Oh you no, 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 no. I was. <laughs> it felt really good. So. Yeah, I have, yeah, I have fun trying it out. Yeah. You, you talked in your introductory press conference. You play for the opposing fans not to like you. Why are Cardinal fans going to love you now that you're on their side? Well, the, when I was playing last year, I had some of the Cardinal fans asking me to move over, like to come here, to just, we want you here. We would love to have you here now that Jad is, uh, is retiring. I was like, okay, okay. I was like something that I keep in mind and uh, why the Cardinal fans are gonna love me because I always play with my heart and I think that's something that I left out day in and day out on the field. Hey Wilson, uh, I want to ask you about Arenado. You're, you got a pretty good viewpoint as a catcher watching him bat. What's it like trying to strategize against him and what impresses you about him as a hitter? It's crazy how uh, how, he go, how he goes through his business and how much he hits because he loves hitting and all day. He can talk about defense, but hitting is, is something that something that I think he built throughout his year. And uh, it's, it's been a really good experience just what, to watch uh, Arenado hit, take ground balls, and watch Goldie, Goldie hit and take ground balls. I mean, the whole team, I think, will I think we'll be able to win. So and we are to build. Huh? No, we just are built to win. When you, you're in the crouch, you look over and you see Arenado walking up, you're like, like, oh man. Oh yeah, I mean, I don't know, he's always been top of bat yeah. his whole career and, and his number shows that. So uh, that's something that I'm I'm really proud to be on this side. And there's the guy. I'm really proud to be. What's it like when he's walking out of the He's like at the hole, see? He has his, his yeah, bag with him. Just so, in case he hits the yeah, hole. I'm, I'm saying, I mean, he's going to probably take a mirror at home and uh, start swinging. Um, but I'm really glad to be here, and I think we're all happy to, to be together. When you want to talk about that you play with an edge. What, what, do, what do you think they mean by that? Uh, I mean, you're, you're an intense guy. With an edge, it's just mm -hmm. because uh, I'm always looking to, I'm going to say this. <laughs> When I go out there with my team, I probably I'm looking to kill somebody, uh -huh, uh -huh. right? Yeah, I'm kill for my team. If we wanna war, if we want to war, we'll, we're going to war together. Or if we wanna fight, we wanna fight together, win, lose together. So I don't really care if the other team likes me or not, uh -huh, uh -huh. because I'm trying to win a yeah. game now, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how my mindset is. I mean, when I play with the edge, that's that's what I mean. Gotcha. That's the difference between catching and winning. It's way easier to catch a hitting one. <laughs> he looks, he looks so well. Hitting, uh, hitting wise, he looks so good. Yeah. But then he's so slow. Then catching, just you just have to let it come to you. Yeah. And it's been fun catching and, and, and talking to Bueno. Have you, you enjoyed seeing some of the pitches like from that other vantage point, like Jack slider, all these hit things? Oh like yes, like oh yes, that. oh yes. I mean Jack. All, all the pitches, they're, they're, I think they're they're a nice track to to start in spring training. Some of them are really good in a really good shape. Some of them are still working on some pitches, yeah. which is which is good. That's what spring training is for. And I'm really proud of what, what I'm seeing so far. Anyone stand out? <laughs> I think 
for everyone. I think, uh, I mean, all of them, to be honest. I mean, I think the whole pitching staff is really good and they're really focused on, on their team. You're one of the few guys actually in this clubhouse who does have World Series experience now. Just how big of an advantage is that? And since you've won once, just how much drive does it give you to know what it feels like and get back again? Yeah, once once you get a World Series ring, you want. I think I feel like you want to get back to World Series every year, even though it's hard to, to go back every year. But that's the that's the mindset, and that's why I came here. Um, I talked to uh, uh, my family and, and my agent about it, and. We were looking at teams that they have the material to get back to the World Series, and we're talking about the Cardinal, the San Luis Cardinals. I think we have everything that, that it takes to, to get back to the World Series. Hopefully, not this year, another year, but that's that's what we're looking for, and that's why I'm here, because the whole organization is looking is looking forward to to get back to the World Series. Did you know uh, Did you know Mozeliak at all before you met him? And John Mozeliak. The, the no, did no, you, no, no. You, did you know him at all? No, uh, he just he came here before the the before. winter meet or something. Yeah, yeah, before. And we talked for the first time the first there, time. and it was a really good conversation. I was, yeah. Uh, yeah, we got along really good. Yeah. He's a really nice guy. Because you were you were you were just you were saying you were close with the guys who ran like Jed and Theo. You got close with them. You got I was I was, I was closer to Theo Epstein. To Theo, it was yeah. it was really good to me. I really and I'm really thankful with him for mm -hmm. everything that he done. He did for me and my family. But then once he left, it was normal. It was okay. a normal, re yeah. like a normal uh, relationship. But yeah, uh, just I didn't know how much like players on the Cubs look across and know the front front office guys on the well, car. That's that's something that I would talk later. On. <laughs> 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 right. yeah. Sorry if you've been asked this already, but you've been to plenty of spring trainings. Is there something a little bit different about this one, given that you're with the Cardinals now and you got new fans, new everything? Yeah, I mean, new everything, new experience. It's really good vibe, and I'm really excited to be here. Um, I just love just coming out here and, and seeing everybody ready to go and, and willing to to get to get better every single day. That's something that, that helps me and going to help the the whole team to to get to get back to to winning.